Welcome back everyone. On today's episode, my customer asked if I could engrave her first name and a hockey logo on the other side of a Yeti cup. Right now, I am just putting a piece of tape that is my marker to show me where the center is on the Yeti logo. Now I'm just measuring the width of the image to make sure it is fitting on there correctly. And again for the second side. Now here I am just going to check the diameter of the cup. The diameter of the cup is 87 millimeters. Now I am positioning the laser onto the center of my cup. Now I'll open up my rotary setup and change the object diameter and turn on the rotary. Just going to move my cup over just a little bit. It looks like it wasn't quite centered. Now I'm going to use my little wood tool and measure the distance between my cup and laser head. So I did flip the images so it mirrors what is being done on the laser. Uh, you'll see here I'm just centering up on my lines I had made. Now here is my engraving settings. I'm just going to click frame to make sure it's centered properly in where I want it to be. I guess I'm going to do another check and look like my little buddy is here to help too. My second pair of eyes. <laughs> He's pretty excited. Now I'm gonna turn my water and my air on. Just running through the preview just to see how long it takes and to see how the engraving will be. Sometimes if I don't select the entire image, then the image will be all wonky when engraving. Now let's go ahead and start the design. Now we're going to work on the second side. I did just click the button to see where my laser position is and now I'm lining the second logo onto middle of the cup. Now let's frame it. Here is my laser engraving settings if you didn't catch it the first time. Now I'm grabbing my wooden tool and I'm measuring the distance. And I do this from bottom of the cup to top of the cup. If you don't do this check, 
you might accidentally scrape your cup right here. So you gotta be very careful. And don't ask me how, but I've been there, I've done it, I scratched a customer's cup, and it was the worst day of my life. Now I'm going to do a couple checks. Now let's see the preview. It says it's gonna take about two minutes and 45 seconds. And here we go. The cup is done and here it is. It is dark right now, but we'll clean it up and it will be nice and shiny. Now turn that rotary off. Now it's time to clean the cup. I use Dawn Power Wash and I use no name brand similar to Magic Eraser. They are quite cheap and they work exactly the same. If there still is not enough shine for you, you may want to check out LA Awesome. It's another type of spray and it works amazing as well. In Canada, this spray is sold at Dollar Tree. And here is a final look. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and I can't wait for you to see what I have next. See you next time.